Yo, what's going on guys? Today, I have my second episode uh, review on Invincible. So, as you guys know, if you guys watched my last Invincible review, Omni-Man had killed a whole bunch of superheroes. The Guardians, I believe they were called. Now, we see that he actually was knocked out in the process. And then, the police, there's like these invisible police people who come in and... They say, who did this? Who did this? Knowing they thought it was a villain, of course, because they didn't think Omni-Man would do it. So then they take him to the hospital and everything like that. And they fall for his trick. Everybody believes that it was not him. So the new, this new director of, I don't know, the bald dude, I think his name is Cecil or whatever. The dude who has like a receding hairline. Uh, it's it's very, very, very interesting how like the people do not realize who could have done this. I mean, I get it. They're superheroes. A super, they're like People are going to try to kill superheroes. But I feel like it's pretty obvious that Omni-Man had done this. But that's just me. So Omni-Man is in the, is in the hospital recovering from whatever. Or recovering from the punches from everybody in the Guardians. Um, and then it cuts to the scene where this red dude, he's like a detective and he can sense what happens if he touches blood, which I'm thinking he's going to find out that Omni-Man had did it, but I think no one's going to believe him because they're going to think that's insane and why would he do that? So that's what I think is going to happen in probably the third episode or fourth episode coming up. But as far as how the story with Invincible is going... Invincible fights these aliens uh, from another, I think, world or whatever. I'm not really too sure. But basically, the whole episode was around finding these new superheroes. You had the redhead girl. You had, I think his name was Rex. Um, you had the robot dude. You had the duplication girl. And then you had, uh, I can't remember the last one. Um, I just, I can't remember it. Um, but I think that might have been all of them if I'm not, if I'm not wrong. To be honest, uh, it was a good it was a good episode. It um, I wouldn't say it was better than the first one though. The first one was a little bit better in my opinion because I liked how it talked m mostly on Invincible. And In this one, I guess you got to more you got to know more superheroes. But then again, I'm here for Invincible. I don't really care about the other superheroes. But I do think that the episode was good. It, was, it wasn't bad, don't get me wrong. I'm still going to watch the series. It's just that it felt like a filler episode, if you know what I mean. It felt like they were just trying to fill it until Omni-Man came back. And then he's going to try to destroy the world. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But basically what happens is Invincible, they fight these aliens. These aliens go back because they can't survive on their Earth for too long. Time is different in their in their world, so like three days in Invincible's world, um, it's like been like centuries for the for the green aliens. So basically, they come back, they um, they fight them again. They end up sh uh, shocking the bracelets off of them or something like that, and then they go back again. Um, at this point, Omni Man comes back to life. Um, he then talks to his son, they do a little training thing, and then that's pretty much it. And then after that, there's another fight with the green people. Um, Invincible gets absolutely destroyed, and then his dad has to come and save him. After that, the dad basically destroys every single alien there, which don't get me wrong, was very, very cool. He then goes into their world and destroys their world forever. And it's insane, like he destroys all of it. Uh, the artwork was really, really cool in my opinion. I actually really liked the action scene in that. The so Invincible actually gets the girl's number, not the redhead girl, um, but the girl that was getting bullied in the beginning um, by that one dude. I won't say she was getting bullied, but she was getting picked on. So she gave him her number, and then she was kind of jealous that she was talking to the redhead girl, which I don't see why. Also, Rex was jealous because Invincible and the redhead girl were talking. It just is what it is. I guess it's high school drama. I guess they just wanted to put in a little bit of high school drama. I could care less if I'm being honest. But that was pretty much the episode. Um, 
it was, like I said, it was a good episode. I wouldn't rate it too high, but I wouldn't rate it too low. I would say it's an average episode, like a seven. There's the first episode was like an eight for me, like a nine almost. The second episode was more like a seven, seven and a half. It wasn't bad. It just didn't blow me away. It then I guess I get to see all these different superheroes, but I really don't care for them. Maybe it's because I don't have no background about them, but maybe I'll get it later. I'm not sure really what is going to happen from here. I think that what's going to happen is Invincible is going to find out that Omni-Man is actually bad. And that he's probably going to have to, I don't know, somehow restrain him. I don't know what's going to happen to be honest. But um, that's what I got pretty much out of the episode. I don't know what's going to happen next. I literally have no idea. I'm guessing Omni-Man's going to try to maybe kill the kids. I don't know. That sounds messed up. Don't get me wrong. But I think that, that might happen. So yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. A very short one today, but um, it, the episode wasn't very long. I think it was actually shorter than the first episode. So, And it was pretty summed up easily. There wasn't much that happened in the episode. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, leave it a like. Subscribe, please. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. In the next episode of Invincible. That's it. Peace. Oh, just keep.